fun flower pot craft. Are you ready? It's gonna take a lot of concentration, and this is a hard project, but I think you guys can do this. You, have, you should have three of these green ones. The reason there aren't three here is because I already made one. I wanna show you that more in detail later. But you should have three of these pages. And I'm gonna tell you what to do with those in just one second. The very first thing you have is a flower pot. You will see that I already put a slip through it. You see that? And on the back it says, no glue. That means when we put this on here, we're gonna put glue everywhere except for this box. Don't put it in there and you'll see why. So I'm gonna no put paper. glue across the top, just right there and all over the sides, but not in this square or the box, or it might look like even a rectangle for some of you. Glue it down at the bottom, not at the top, at the bottom. And you should have a slit right here. See that? I should be able to put my hand in here very carefully. It's paper, so be real careful. Before you do anything else, is you can decorate your flower pot however you want. I'm just going to draw a picture real quick. But you guys are super creative. You draw whatever you want on your own flower pot, okay? Okay, Chloe and I decorated our flower pot. Isn't it beautiful? It says, I love my owls. Actually, I should have put, we love our owls. The next thing you're gonna do is take your three green papers. You're going to use really strong fingers and you're going to roll it, not long ways, or from the short, short. You're gonna do long rectangle to long rectangle. You can fold it like this. And put glue on it on the very end. Maybe you should even put glue on it first, then roll it. That way you don't have to worry about it. Lots of glue just on the ends because you, and you can even wad it up. It's okay, it doesn't have to be a beauty. You can squeeze it, see how I'm squeezing this? Just make sure you get, this is your flower stem, if that makes sense to you. I'm gonna roll the next one a little differently. And see how I'm just pushing it down and squeezing it? It doesn't have to be beautiful. Mine isn't beautiful, but it's okay. So before I roll this one, I'm going to put glue on it, see if that makes a difference. Put lots of glue there. And I'm gonna start on this end. Maybe as I roll it, maybe I just wanna even put glue on there. Maybe that could be better. Lots of glue. You want these to stay. So push those papers down, so I'm doing this one just different. If you get globs of glue on the side like I am, just throw them in there, push it down, throw them in there, push it down. So there's two different stems. One's kind of messy and that's okay, and one I just folded and glued at the same time. And here's my third stem. Okay, that's okay guys, now this is the big, big step. The very first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna take your scissors and you will see that there are lines on here and there's no line right here on this side. So you're gonna put each one of these and this is something you can take your time on. There's no rush. This is where the magic and the fun happens. See how my paper is folded? These lines are on here for you to cut and you're going to lay your scissors in your hand, put your thumb through, your fingers through, you're gonna cut away from your body, and you're gonna cut straight and stop. Don't go past that line. Go, don't go past this line. Cut, 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 freeze. Cut, 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 freeze. Cut, 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 freeze. Okay. That probably took you guys a long time. Look at all of these cut. Now I didn't cut this one because this actually belongs to one of you. All right, here is where you have to pay attention. Put all of them aside, but choose one flower. You can choose the red, the yellow, or the orange first. It doesn't matter. You're going to open it up, and this is what it will look like. 
Whoa, so you wanna be very gentle. Now, with this facing, with this facing you or this side facing you, it doesn't matter. You're going to take your glue stick and you're gonna put lots of glue just right on the bottom of that line. And that's the only place you're gonna put it. And this is where some of my friends who love gluing, it's okay to put lots of glue. You're gonna take the other side and you're going to put it on this side and glue it, but here's the thing. It's not gonna be even and it's okay. You're going to put it and line it up as best as you can. My Al friends did this last year and wow, these turned out so great. Do you see how I put it on there and I still have a ledge? And now my little strips of paper are kind of uneven, aren't they? Okay, good job. The very next thing you're going to do is glue it again. You put lots of glue right there, lots and lots. This is good for your fingers. It's gonna make your hands so strong. The next thing you're gonna do is take one of those stems that you made, and all you're gonna do is turn it sideways. You can do it towards your body, or you can do it away, whatever makes it easy. You'll put your stem right there. Push, and then you're gonna start folding it up. And if you get it off, it doesn't have to be even. You could go crooked a little bit. Look what's happening, guys, and you just keep pressing, and it's okay. Just keep pressing. If you need to add more glue, look at that. I just made a beautiful flower. And you're gonna do that to all of them. So if you need to rewind the video and do it slow, so you can look, do that. Look, my flowers are done. Red, orange, yellow. <gasps> That's like last week. We had our rainbow collars. Rory G. Biv. We have green too. Wow. So grab your paper that I already had you do. And this is where you had the little slit in here. You'll take and you can arrange your flowers however you want to. Just poke them right in there. That's so beautiful. And guess what today is, guys? Today is May Day. I don't know if you know this, but the first of May, we used to do this with my girls when they were very little. We used to go ring doorbells and put little gifts on people's porches and leave them and run away. It was called doorbell ditching, I think is what it was called. But on May Day, sometimes you leave flowers on people's um, doorsteps or at their doorknob. And what a great way, especially to love on our neighbors and friends that way. The other thing you can do is color your background. You could write a beautiful message. You could draw another beautiful picture. But guys, have lots of fun. This is a very big, big, thing to do, but I think you guys can do it. All right, I love you.